Let's talk about converting kilograms to pounds. Now, why might you have to convert kilograms to pounds? Well, very often this is going to happen in someone's first lifting meet, whether it's weightlifting or powerlifting, especially in weightlifting this is going to happen. They go to their first meet, maybe they've been training in pounds, and now suddenly everything is in kilograms. The warm-up room is in kilograms, on the competition platform it's in kilograms, and they're in trouble. So we got to find a way to quickly and easily convert from kilograms to pounds. Yes, you can get out your phone, but you don't need to. If you practice doing this and it doesn't take much practice, you'll be just fine. Let's take a look. We're going to start with 100 kilograms. That's an easy one. So, 100 kilograms. Now, you may say to yourself, oh, I'll just multiply by 2.2, because that's the conversion factor, roughly anyway. Stop multiplying by 2.2. Don't do that. There's an easier way. Nobody knows how to handle the 0.2 part of that very well in their head. It's kind of a weird number to multiply, and there is an easier way to do it. First of all, simply double the number. 100 doubled, you get 200. Not too difficult. Now, you may remember, back from your schooling days, there's an invisible decimal point sitting right here. Move it over one spot, and you get the number 20. You get 20.0. I don't care about that last zero. I just want to remember the number 20. I think I'm going to write that right there, and I'm just going to add them. 220 pounds. That's supposed to be an LB. Easy process to convert. 100 kilograms is 220 pounds. Let's take a look at a slightly more complicated example. Not much more complicated. 75 kilograms. And you can pause this, you can try to do it in your head first. Again, it's not going to be very complicated. The first thing you do is double the number. So I'm going to take 75, I'm going to multiply it by 2, and I get 150. Remember, there's an invisible decimal right there. I move it over one, and we get the number 15. Add them up. What do we get? 165 pounds. And that's a process that you can obviously do in your head, even with just a little bit of practice, okay? So don't multiply by 2.2. Don't bring that weak sauce to the playground. Use this method. It's quicker. It's easier. If you do it on a regular basis, you'll start memorizing some of these numbers. You'll know that 80 kilograms without any practice whatsoever is 176 pounds. You'll know that 90 kilograms is 198 pounds. So practice using this method, and I hope it helps.